We're late again. I woke up at like 9 this morning, which is a miracle in and of itself. But then I went right back to sleep and woke up at noon. So, we might be just digging through other people's dregs today. Of course, I guess theoretically that's what this is anyway, right? But there's like different, le different levels of dregs. The dregs that the homeowners throw out versus the dregs that the other pickers left behind from the dregs that the homeowners threw out. So we'll see what we get. No promises though. Welcome to trash picking. It's an hour later and we haven't found anything. But I see something that looks like it might be a gun. Look at this thing. It's not exactly a gun but it is apparently the next generation of whatever it is. Look at that thing. Blah, blah, blah! No? I think this is like the world's cheapest crossbow. Are there any projectiles there? No. All right, so that's what we got. Two rotors and the world's cheapest crossbow. That's three bucks an hour, folks. What do you think? I like gas cans. All right, this says children's clothes. Oh, look, a twist tie. Does that look like children's clothes to you? Look at that. What year is that? Is that collectible? Should I take this collectible Batman shirt? I feel really creepy because these kids that wore these clothes are probably my age now. Baby blankets and snowsuits. It's July. Give me a break. Alright, what's in here? Very breakable liquid inside. I want to see some very breakable liquid. That's very breakable liquid, okay? All right, fourth box. Daddy needs new shoes. Wow. Can you see that? It's all like mouse poop. Mainly the only reason I got out here is because a couple years ago, these people threw out a bunny rabbit blow mold, which was adorable, but no such luck this year. Speaking of rabbits, there's one in this pile. The VCR rabbit. It's a little bit of innuendo there. Let's your VCR multiply like rabbits. Remember this sign from yesterday? It looks like these signs multiplied like rabbits. Anyway, those are two strikes. This is our last swing. Portable barbecue set, never used. All right. 
Three strikes and we are out. We've been at it for almost three hours today. And we uh, ain't finding nothing. Well, that's absolutely the most lightweight flywheel I've ever picked up in my life, so. What's that worth? Five, six pounds, 10 cents a pound. 60 cents, I'll take it. We've been up five hours. I got that stuff. Recorded five minutes of footage so far, give or take. And not for lack of wanting to record footage, this has been nothing to record. But maybe, 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 maybe things are turning around for us. Oh yeah, they are. Oh. Why do you put the brass headboard underneath everything? It's so rude. All right, so this is kind of like a hybrid headboard. <sighs> partially brass, partially other stuff. That's not brass. That's brass. NB not brass. Brass, brass. Plays like a xylophone. No. End of concert. All right, so. What's up? So I guess we're gonna uh, go take this apart somewhere. And uh, maybe our day just got interesting, we'll see. You know, I don't think I've ever found a kettlebell. I wonder if this really counts though. Kind of neat. I guess I'll take it. All right, now I can sort of halfway say that I found a kettlebell, even though I don't really believe that deep down in my soul. Let's see. I don't know what that is. really like that ladder but I think it'll still be here later if I want to take it I just I like how this is jagged never saw that before in a ladder I think we can live without that for the time being though we got the brass bed apart and as far as brass beds go this one was pretty well made it's kind of tricky to get it apart so I would say if you are looking for a brass bed, go to Wesley Allen Incorporated of Los Angeles and they will proudly build you one of these rigs. It's held together with threaded rod. These big cast feet. This thing that threads onto the top. Yeah, that was a nice bed, and now it's scrap metal. I don't know how I feel about that. This looks like a fun thing to find. I don't want to, like, show this guy. But wow, that's the best bike I've ever found in the history of my life, ever. Up to this point, anyway. Wow, let's get that on the rack so we can see it in all its purple glory. All right, we're gonna take a careful look at this in one second. So I'll see you in one second. All right, so let's see. We got the Alivio gears and the Michelin Country Trail tires. 
And this thing's the kind of rack where like a baby seat slides on it. You got the factory warning decal, quick release wheels, Shimano brakes. They stop on a dime and give you five cents back. Oh, you got the GT Triple Triangle in a beautiful grape color. But it's not just grape, it's like, what is that, marbling? Speckling? GT Gel Light Seat. I don't know, probably a lot of you people don't really care about all these details because you're here for the trash picking. But indulge me. World's ugliest grips, they look comfy though. Olivio brakes, Newton John shifters that are gummed up like a pack of double mint, but we're not worried about that. Up front here, there's your little GT decal. Yeah, see this bike is you know pretty cool, and these tires are like basically mint condition. 4130 chromium molybdenum steel main tubes. Yeah, that's a sweet bike. It's probably worth 20 bucks, but you know. Just made my day. What do you think? Should I try to take this chair? That's a neat chair. Made out of like bamboo or something. Think that's gonna fit in the Camry? I think it's not. I don't know what the hell these are. There's that cheap crossbow from earlier. Project crossbow. All right. Moment of truth. Yeah, not even close. Too bad I don't have 14 trucks and a whole crew of men to help me. Because if I had that, then uh, I could take that chair, but I just have one lonely Camry. Actually, I have two Camrys. The other one's just been up on jack stands for months. Remember those gross old baby clothes we saw earlier? Someone took three boxes of them. I guess they didn't want the ones that had all the mouse poop in it though, huh? For the life of me, I have no idea who would take that crap, but I'm not the only person doing this. Anyway, Meliza, did you see her name? We don't want her books from when she went to college. Tape rewinder, no. Radio, no. Remote control, no. Books, sewing box, TV antenna, no, and books. Oh look, Peter and the wolf. Going to camp. My picnic basket book. Should I keep going? How many of these do you guys want to see? Charlie Brown? Oh, look at this. Dr. Seuss. Alright, so. We don't care about this. And we are going to probably find like one or two more piles and call it a day because, you know, what's the use today, right? I think we got another bike. Specialized hard rock sport. <sighs> Wow, it's like 
technically it's probably a better bike than the GT Tolera. But I don't like it better. Then we got the rims and tires. Can't ride a bike without those. I guess I was gonna call this video how to how to make zero dollars in six hours, but I guess I'm gonna have to call it something else now, because you know we're probably twenty, thirty dollars into the profit at this point. Wow. I see some major brake rotor action. First of all, this is the world's biggest angle grinder thing. Ignore those things that we're going to find in the next clip in the video in the future. I didn't I didn't find those yet. Yeah, I found both of the bikes, but I didn't find those insulators yet. <laughs> Damn, we found some brake rotors. It's like bread and butter, man. All right, this is awkward. Uh, my camera cut out because my memory card was full. Just last night I was thinking I should probably empty my memory card. But I didn't. So now you get a weird edit. That's one of those sorry slash not sorry things, because you know. I should be more careful, but what do you want? It's all free. I don't want to be greedy here, but there's one more box. Nope, no rotor in the box. All right, I'll see you in the next clip that uh, hasn't happened yet, that I haven't recorded yet. You know, the one where I find those things that I find in the future. Stay tuned, it's a very exciting clip. I mean, it will be, I mean, it might be. How would I know, I haven't recorded it yet. I don't know why I'm a glutton for punishment. I know I should not pick up these insulators. Nobody wants them, they don't sell. But I always take them anyway. Just something neat about them. Ew, that's gross. What about this? I don't think we need that. I think we need that tri wrench though. Look at that. Is that a park? Holy cow. The lighting's pretty bad, but that's a park tool 456 wrench. Why would you even have that here? And that's a brand new chain. By KMC. It's a rust buster. And there's a variety of funnels. All stacked together for us to grab. I'm not that afraid, but it just caught me off guard. Look at him. Look at the little guy down there. What are you doing, buddy? Whoa, look at him go, look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. There he goes. All right. I am not gonna 
edit out the part of the video where I just screamed like a little girl. I feel really bad because, you know, my dude was just in there minding his own business. And here I am getting all rowdy. You know, how would I feel if I was on my couch and some guy who was 2,000 times as big as I am was uh, poking through my things, right? So I'm very sorry, Mr. Mouse. But I think that I can probably come up with some kind of weird title and thumbnail. I felt like I was breaking into his house. He gave me a hell of a scare. I screamed like a little girl. You know, I'll workshop it. And with that, I think me and the little mouse, my new friend, would like to thank you guys for coming along and keeping us company. It's nice to know that someone gives a hoot about my videos. And until next time, Thanks so much for watching.